Hey you guys, I'm back for another video and Happy New Year. For those who made it to 2021, congratulations. <laughs> Hopefully this year is a good year. Um, if you're new to my channel, my name is Gerby Norellis. You can follow me on Facebook, Gerby Norellis, and you can follow me on Instagram, G Norellis. Today, I'm going to talk about my TTC journey. I think I did a video, two videos ago, I spoke to you about what's you know been going on through my ttc journey i think at that time i was at least in my sixth cycle of um trying to conceive and um since then i still haven't gotten pregnant i did do a video i did speak about um being pregnant in october and then i had a chemical pregnancy which means i lost the baby very early before the four weeks so um starting this month i said this week starting this month um i'm gonna do a fast a cleansing that i did um around se end of september going into october until i found out i was pregnant um the diet was for my fibroids i have one fibroid that's about four centimeters and um the doctor told me it wasn't nothing big that was blocking me from getting pregnant because last year I did get pregnant, but then I miscarried at six weeks. So, um, I've been, you know, I, I gave up and then this year again, I said I was going to start again. I think I started in, it was either August or July. I started again. And, um, so I kept, you know, me and my husband kept doing it, kept doing it. And I'm like, it's not working out. So one of my clients, um, she told me that she had a fibroid issue when she was around my age and she was having issues trying to conceive. So she went to like a holistic, a holistic doctor and the holistic doctor gave her a list of certain foods that she shouldn't eat. It was basically a cleansing for 30 days. I said, I'm going to try this time 60 days because last time I was able to get pregnant. So I think maybe if I try longer, I'm going to do the cleansing. I'm, gonna, I'm still going to, you know, have my little fun, be deep. But what I'm going to do is not take it as serious to get pregnant until like after I do the cleansing. I would say the last month, like February that month i'm gonna take it very serious trying to make sure i conceive that month but this month is just making sure that i clean my body so that way when i roll over into february my body's still clean but i'm really trying to make this baby happen so it can stick and so we can have a 2021 baby um so i'm going to put the list of the different things that i can and cannot eat um, during this cleansing there's a lot of foods if you have fibroids that will cause the fiber to like inflate and grow bigger one thing is like red meat cheese things with a lot of fat um, and no MSG like salty food like Maggie I'm Caribbean so we love to put Maggie, adobo, all those things that is, is really bad if you have fibroids. And of course, I already said dairy. And there's even certain vegetables that can cause inflammation. So the list that she gave me is very, very, very strict. Like, like it literally took all my strength <laughs> those 30 days to like not be tempted to eat something outside because my husband and i sometimes we like to pass by the store and get something to eat and my son he loves <laughs> even though i shouldn't be feeding him he loves junk food so i'll get him junk food and i'm like oh, i can't get this burger or i can't get these fries let me just you know so but at the same time i can still make opposite things just in a healthy way and then also with this because you're basically clean eating you kind of have to like you have to cook your own meals so sometimes i don't even have time to cook my own meals but this really disciplined me to make a meal every single day or sometimes what i would do is i would meal prep so i know i have that food for at least three to four days so I don't have to, you know, oh, I have to cook today, I have to cook today, I have to cook today. So I'll make enough that's going to last me three or four days. I tried to include my husband and my child, but they're like, I'm not going for that. So I had to do it by myself. But um, I also ended up losing a lot of weight when I did that. I literally lost like a pound 
every day or every two days. I drank a lot of water and I exercise too. So I exercise every day for 30 minutes. Um, right now I went back. I gained all the way back because Thanksgiving happened, the holidays happened. I said after the cleansing in October, I was gonna do it again in November and December. But I'm like, it's Thanksgiving, it's the holidays, it's been a rough year, I wanna enjoy the holidays. So I'm like, I don't wanna do the cleansing and then Thanksgiving I eat turkey and stuff I'm not supposed to eat and on Christmas I eat, you know, what I'm not supposed to eat. And then on New Year's I drink soup, you know, Haitian squash soup instead of, you know, dieting. So I was like, after the New Year's, January, I'm gonna definitely do the 60 day cleansing. So, um, one of the things that's very important in doing this cleansing is drinking a green shake every single day. The first three days of the cleansing, you're going to drink green shake all day for lunch and breakfast. I mean, for breakfast and lunch, <laughs> I said the opposite. Breakfast and lunch, and then dinner, you're going to eat a light meal. You can eat anything that's on the list. That's in, I'm, I'm going to post the list up so you guys can see and I'm going to leave it up there for a good minute and I'm going to put it in the description so you can see all the foods that's, you know, for bad for inflammation and all the food that's good to keep your inflammation down. And um, so, yeah, the first three days you're drinking shakes, green shakes, and I'm talking about real vegetables, not the little powder shake that you buy in the store, real greens. You're going to get your spinach, you're going to get your turnip. You're gonna get um, your call. Well, you don't drink collard greens. You know, basically all greasy leans. You're gonna put it, and then you put some fruit. And I even found out that there's some fruit that can cause inflammation. So there was like certain fruits that I can put in the shake, and certain fruits that I can't. Like I love strawberries, no strawberries. I was like, ah. Oh. But at least I could put banana in it. I could put mango in it. I could put um. What else did I put? Banana, mango, blueberries. Um, there's there's other fruit. Uh, we'll see it in the list. And then the fruit that I can't eat is like strawberries and pineapple. Basically, fruits that are very acidic. Those are the foods that, the fruits that you cannot, you know, drink. So the first three days, the shake, light meal, and then after the three days, you're still gonna drink the shake, but you're gonna drink the shake once. A day in the morning and then you have regular lunch and you have regular dinner and it's gonna be whatever foods are in the list you're gonna make it whatever meats are in the list you're gonna make it and you're gonna incorporate it in your meal and that's what you're gonna eat for the 30 days or 60 days whichever how many days that you plan to do it so you know um, one of the good things about it the meats that you can't eat but if you do have fibroids I do not recommend eating beef for some reason in the list it said that you can eat beef but i would think that because you have fibroids you can't so i'm like either that's a typo or maybe it's a certain part of the beef but i didn't eat no beef at all i basically just ate fish you couldn't eat any chicken because chicken had hormones but i did speak to the woman who did gave me the list I was like is it okay for me to eat chicken and she's like if I do eat chicken it has to be cage free chicken it can't be any regular chicken that you buy in the store it literally has to be cage free hormone free clean and then you know you put the salt like I did not put regular salt I bought pink um sea salt which is more healthier so I did that and I ate a lot of collard greens and I love potatoes but I ended up um, switching, you know, because you can't eat white pot regular potatoes or red potatoes. So I ended up eating sweet potatoes. So I incorporated sweet potatoes in my meal. And then um, the wheat, like in the morning, sometimes I would have like toast and the toast would be the Ezekiel bread. That's what I bought. It's more expensive than regular bread, but that's what you can't eat in the least. Ezekiel bread with organic butter or organic jelly and the jelly has to be either blueberry jelly or whatever fruit is on the list that type of jelly make sure that it doesn't have no um just basically you're you're basically eating organic for a whole month and then your certain meats that you're not incorporating your food and no 
cheese at all and even with um dairy they this diet for some reason no almonds in this diet i know i was like how am i supposed to drink milk if i cannot drink almond milk so i think i switched it over for i don't remember what milk that i drank i think i switched it for coconut milk yeah i think i drank coconut milk I don't remember but it should be on the list what kind of milks that you can drink what kind of you know substitute dairy that you can have and of course if you have fibroids try to avoid um, soy products so in this diet I know everybody likes to buy their um, fake meat no you cannot have this fake meat you cannot have the fake hot dogs and the like the soy stuff will make your fibroids will cause inflammation in your fibroids so please try to avoid anything with soy in it soy sauce soy milk soy products soy meat don't eat none of that stuff you know try to find different ways you i think you can eat mushrooms so maybe there's certain mushrooms you can substitute for meat so and the most important thing i, I have to go back all the way to the shakes when you're doing your shakes in the morning you put all your green stuff all your fruit the second most important thing the third most important thing that you got to put in it is this see this see this nasty thing <laughs> it's nasty to me because i hate it but it's like it's super healthy for you it's um sea moss i got mine from my local farmer's market because i was like oh let me order it online and then online is like 23 like 30 dollars on amazon and i don't i didn't want to wait so what i ended up doing is just going to my local farmer's market and it's dried irish sea moss so with this what you're gonna do is you're gonna get it you know whoever you get it from whatever vendor online or anybody first thing to do is wash this when you get it from the farmer's market wash it because it has the salt it has the little shells it has all that little nasty crusty things inside of it you wash it really well wash 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 until you get it super jelly like it's gonna look like super jelly gelatin and then you're gonna put it in a bowl you're gonna fill up the bowl with water and then you're gonna soak it overnight because when you get it it's still it's jelly but it's like a hard jelly you want it to become like soft jelly so that way when you blend it it blends very smoothly so i let it sit overnight after i let it sit overnight i um rinse it out again clean it again and then make sure that it's really jelly like and then i put it in my blender i use my neutral bullet you can use a regular blender neutral bullet and i blend it until it's like super creamy sometimes you might get like teeny 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 tiny chunks but it's okay as long as it's enough for you to scoop it and like literally i bought two of these and one of these made like a huge jar and i still have the jar in my refrigerator and every now and again like i'll put it in my drink and i'll drink it because the irish you know sea moss is healthy for you it's good for your immune system it's you know protects you keeps you healthy you know so this is one of the most important things to put in your drink another thing that I put in my drink that they told me that I can is flaxseed I bought this from my local Aldi I bought the simple nature flaxseed mix you put it in your shake drink it so those are two things I put in my shake besides fruit and um, vegetables so yeah the shake the Irish sea moss ugh. I, I can't can't get used to the taste but I know it's healthy for me so I take it anyway I got my mother-in-law into it so she started using it and I even told my mother and I think she started using it I don't know but she's so she's always into eating and drinking healthy things I'm sure she has it somewhere in the house hanging around yeah so you put that in your shake eat your regular food I will eat fish and salad like fish and potatoes sometimes the organic chicken and potatoes i love collard greens so i would put collard greens in my food like make it fun you can do like little tacos you know with because you can eat lettuce you know make the little tacos with the tomato and stuff just find different ways to make this fun because this is going to be like a 30-day cleansing drink lots 
and lots and lots of water. I drink lots of water because you know you want to stay strong. Cause and I exercise every day for 30 minutes. Did treadmill. Did um my elliptical. I did everything for 30 minutes a day to an hour a day. You know. So yeah. So this is um July. So I'll probably be done by the end of February and hopefully I'm pregnant either the end of February because my cycle is every 30 day my cycle is like 30 days so my my period my cycle comes every month at the same time every single month every single month I track my cycle the one thing I love to use that I put in the last video is um the ovulation ovulation kits from Pregmate I use those they're cheap. I still have a whole bunch. Remember last time I said, oh, it was like a 60 pack. I still got like 10 in here. And they're by Pregmate. Very small, easy to pee in. Don't go wasting your money going to Walmart and the pharmacy and spending all that money. You can buy this for like, I think it's nine to 10 to $15, depending on how many packs you get, but at least it'll last you a lot of months. I've had this one since I had some in July and then I got new packs in September. So I've had this since like September, October. It's good. Don't waste your money on those expensive ovulation kits online. They do the same thing. And it tells, like I put it on a piece of paper. I track every month. The minute it gets dark, get the dancing, do what I need to do. It's cheap. It's affordable. And you can keep using, you know, as much as you need. You can pee on like 50 of them a day and you still have more left over. So get the Pregmate ovulation kits. And then same thing. I don't, like I said, I didn't like the Pregmate pregnancy kits because they would leave a little indent line or a little evap line. I'm not for those things, but I'm also cheap. I'm not going to go buy expensive pregnancy tests unless I see a good clear line. Then I'll go, you know, to Walmart or target wherever you buy your pregnancy test and spend seven eight dollars on a pregnancy test but what i do is like i said in the last video easy at home i hope it shows clear easy at home pregnancy tests they're good they this one was like this says 20 tests you know you can buy the 150 test 20 tests and it's good it doesn't show no evap lines it shows you automatically the results you don't have to wait long and it's affordable it's cheap cost me around maybe nine ten or fifteen dollars depending how many packs you buy try these it's good so yeah so that's been my tc ttc journey so far hopefully this year i get pregnant that's my hope you know i'm gonna try to lose weight um I don't like saying by weight, but I must say it. I'm 235 right now. My goal is to get down to 180. It's not a healthy weight, <laughs> I know, because for somebody who's 5'5, five, five, the most I've ever weighed, weighed in my life. And you know, so I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna eat healthier. I'm gonna exercise. It's hard to get rid of those cravings, but hopefully, the 60 day cleanse, I can at least get down to at least. 190 you know because with this um with this fasting the fast that you're going to do for this 30 or 60 days you're going to lose a lot of weight as long as you even if you don't exercise you're going to lose weight hopefully i lose the weight hopefully in a couple of months i get pregnant last time i did it i did get pregnant but turned out to be a chemical but hopefully this time it's a sticky baby it stays and we can invite our new baby into our home <laughs> so yeah thank you for watching my video if you have any comments or any questions about the fasting that i'm going to be doing and if you want to join me with the fasting you know write in my comments let me know I'll tell you more and again I'm gonna put the list of every item that you can and cannot eat what's good for inflammation what's not good for inflammation I'll post the picture and everything so I hope everything turns out great 
again thank you for watching and thank you for being part of my journey and um, if you like the video click the like button subscribe to my channel every other month or every month I'm gonna talk about my TTC journey and hopefully this helps any woman that is struggling with fibroids or infertility you know I want everybody I want every woman to have a baby and even if you can't have a baby you can always adopt but I know in my heart that God's gonna give you one hopefully and uh, for anybody who's trying to get pregnant, I will continue to pray for you if you need me to pray for you, you know. So, again, thank you for watching my video and hope to see you back soon. Bye!